danger to an individual or the community, right? And in Texas, that was pretty much the same three-prong analysis, except for the fact in Texas, we have a state constitutional right to bond. So we actually have a greater right to Texas to bond than, than most other states. But in Illinois, it's created that, that on January 1st, there'll be this new paradigm where it strips judges of discretion and mandates release for things like kidnapping and, and, and murder and robbery. And they have to show a specific threat to a specific individual. So let's take a guy that murdered his wife, right? Well, his anger was just directed at his wife. And well, she's dead now, so he's not a threat to anyone else. So they got to release him. That is the literal map mandated wow. by this statute, and it's insane. And it's just that and what they talk about, the, the Democrats that push this, they talk about equity, right? And of course, there was, like I said, the old Harris County system was unfair to the poor, and it impacted people of color more than anyone else. But what we're doing in America now is we're telling, because crime is almost all socioeconomically and racially homogenous. White people commit crimes against white people, Hispanic people commit crimes against Hispanic people, black people commit crimes against black people. That's just the date, right? And period. So what we're doing is we're abandoning poor people of color to victim crime. We're saying, oh, it's like when you call 911 in Houston now. Well, it says, well, if your theft was less than $5,000, go report it online. I don't know about you, Isaiah, but for the majority of my life, $5,000, not anymore, but just thank God hard work pays off. But $5,000 would have destroyed me, right? Yeah, it would have made yeah. me unable. And, and we just heard this new paradigm where the government is telling victims, tough. And this is just another example of it. It's, it's horrifying. I like the way Charles made it clear he's not broke anymore. This story is making a lot of noise on social media. We're not done just yet. We'll continue it after br of the after the break. And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. We're, con we're continuing our coverage of a law coming to Illinois next year. The new Safety Act is making a lot of people feel anything but safe. The law will eliminate cash bail for multiple crimes, according to users on TikTok. This sounds like the plot of the purge. Let's continue our discussion and the reason for many people saying it is the beginning of the purge that's trending on social media. And